You deserve to be happy. Allow yourself to be unconditionally happy. No matter what's going on around you, you have a choice and you can decide how you respond and what state of mind that you wish to be in. Remember, people cannot make you sad or upset or frustrated. They can do something that you react to in a way where you feel like that, but it's still happening within you and you have control and you have a decision that you can make to choose to feel differently. It might sound crazy, and I used to be at the mercy of my emotions too. And living a life like that, where you are always at the reaction instead of the cause, you're always at the effect, it's really a lot of pressure and pain and suffering that comes as a result. But when you choose to be unconditionally happy, you're happy most of the time for no reason. You don't need an excuse or something good to happen so that you can feel good. You just choose to feel good because it's a much better state to live your life in. Lift your standards, elevate your base level of emotional experience and make a decision to feel happy, to feel good more frequently. Make it normal. Remember this and remember it often. You are worth taking care of. Spend time on really nourishing yourself, your soul. Make it so that you feel good and get support systems around you so there are people helping you to really perform at your best. If you don't value yourself, it's very difficult for other people and for the world to really value you for what you're worth. And even though taking good care of yourself might be expensive or it might take a lot of your time, this is an investment that should never be overlooked or neglected because if you don't double down on this, then the likelihood of you failing when it comes to striving after your goals, you know, pushing yourself to perform at a higher level, all of that typically falls through because the standard, the foundation that you lay with your self-care really becomes fundamental in your success. And so whatever it takes, whether that's physiotherapy, a spa day, coaching, you know, anything that you need in order to feel good and perform at a high level, make sure that it gets done. And not only that, but make sure it gets done consistently. You have to keep filling your own cup in order for you to be able to share and to give to others. Next, I want you to think about all the people who love you and who have shown love towards you. Whenever you've been treated well, whenever your heart has been warmed, you know, really recall these moments, bring them into your mind and think of what it feels like to be loved by other people. If you've ever been sick and somebody looked after you or took care of you, remember that because it's really important to recognize how other people do care about us and really make an effort to show that. It's so easy to forget or to not value it properly. But if you have anybody in your life who cares about you, recognize it properly and acknowledge it and make sure that you notice it, especially for yourself. Because if you spend your time focusing on everybody who did you wrong or all the things that didn't go your way, you'll probably end up experiencing more of that type of stuff. Whereas when you keep your attention on the positive, you see and experience more of that. And this is not by accident or coincidence. Your brain is literally wired to find more of what you're already focusing on. So whatever you're paying attention to, you will experience more of. Also recognize that it can be easy for you to get what you want, or at least you can perceive it as easy. You see, when you tell yourself a story that your goals are really tough and it's difficult to reach after your ambitions, that it's so much of a challenge, that it's overwhelming for you, well, guess what? That's exactly what it's going to be like. You are narrating your own experience and really tailoring it so that it's difficult. You want it to feel hard in order for you to feel a sense of accomplishment, maybe. But you could also tell yourself the story that I love every step of the process. This is fun. I love progressing. I love seeing myself grow and improve consistently. Wow, what a different experience it then becomes. You go from feeling like everything is a chore and you have to make all this effort to eh, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself and wow. I'm getting closer and closer to what I want. Then to kick this up a whole nother level, 
all you need to do is ask yourself, what do I like about what I'm doing? What do I enjoy? What's fun about this? And when you filter with questions like that, your brain can't help it. It'll start to find the evidence that supports that narrative. Now, if you want my help to personally ensure that you're on track every week to hold you accountable, to support you with my coaching like I've done for hundreds of other really successful clients before you, then I invite you to go to eraphael.com. Over there, you can book a call with me. We'll talk, see if it's a good fit. And if so, I'll be coaching you, holding you accountable, supporting you every single week to make sure that you're progressing at your absolute best. Again, if you want to take advantage of it, eraphael.com to book the call. The link is in the description. Finally, I want you to remember that you are free from obligation. And any obligation that you really buy into, it's self-imposed. Nobody can force you or make you or guilt you so much that you lose your free will. You can decide whether or not you want to help somebody, whether or not you want to go somewhere or live somewhere. You get to choose. You're not a tree, you can move. And if you're not happy in your circumstances or you feel like you're doing things out of guilt, it's time to reevaluate and perhaps change direction. What I want you to realize is how much power you really have in this very moment. At any point, you can decide to go in a completely different direction to do something with your life that you never thought was possible before. Only you are holding yourself back and only you can let yourself be free. And whether that's a scary leap of faith that you have to take or whether that just means some small tweaks in your life, make sure that you recognize and address it properly and let yourself really take that step because otherwise spinning in circles, doing the same thing over and over again, I don't think that's what you want for yourself and for your future. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I will catch you on the 